The next song and dance we're going to do for you, Malton, is called Ngarin. Ngarin is the la bird. This la bird is very important to us because what it does is it can hear and mimic any sound that it hears. Now, this la bird has been known to be walking through the bush and hearing our people talk and sing songs by the campfire. And this la bird, he listens to that songs and he carries that story. And what we do is we look at that la bird and when we see that la bird, he teaches us, listen, listen to the old people. And always carry that song so that you can repeat it for the next fellas down the line. This next dance, we, we, we ended up um, creating this dance because uh, Nowra means uh, black cockatoo. I don't know if you all know that. So we created this dance called Now Now, which is uh, black cockatoo. So it's uh, the proper pronunciation of Nowra is Now Now. Black cockatoo dance. <laughs> Can everybody say now and now? Now and now is the black cockatoo. Can everybody say Yuriak? Yuriak is the white cockatoo. If you see the white cockatoo flying through the sky, it makes you say yak, yak, yak. So it's named after what it sounds like, onomatopoeia. What happened was the white cockatoo was flying over Campbellwara Mountain. In our language for Campbellwara, we say Gambawara. What that means is fly, fire mountain. This white cockatoo was flying over this mountain and it was on fire, big bushfire. The, the flames and the embers from the bush flew up into the sky and the white cockatoo's feathers caught in the flame. And what it did was it called out to the mother to, to bring through the rain spirit, Bana. You're up, you're up. I need rain, put this fire out. And as it flew through the smoke on fire, that rain come and put the fire out on its leaves. And when it come out the other side from the smoke, it turned into the rain, to the rain bird, the black cockatoo. Its feathers had all been charred with that black ash and that ember. So this, this bird is actually a messenger bird for us as well. It's a true story. When it flies, whichever direction it's flying from, it's flying away from the rain. It don't like the rain. So we know that rain is coming from that direction. It's a messenger bird for us. Similar to when the cockatoo is Having his laugh in the morning, we know the sun's coming up. This black cockatoo is a, is a messenger bird for the rain. So, so this next... This next song and dance is called Mulukama. Mulukama is about the mosquitoes. So when we do our songs and dances, we, we like to base them on a day. It was probably the most easiest, simplest, sort of like natural way to do something. You start with your welcome dance, the beginning, you know, the sun rising, the beginning of the day. First song we went into was our kangaroos. You know, we start looking for that gnarly, for that kangaroo. Where that, where's our feed gonna be? Maybe go out and look for some of them. We did our ngarin, which is our live bird dance. You hear them birds chirping in the morning, you know? What happens is once we go through the day, we come up to, hey, we'll do this one. We'll do um, spearfishing. So spearfishing is about 
you know, middle of the day and all the men are out by the coast and they're looking for, for fish. And what they do is they don't take the young fellas out because they're not sure whether to give them a big spear to spear fish. You know, it's a big, it's a big, big deal to give a little kid a spear. So what happens is they come and do this dance to learn through a scenario. It's like our dancers are also learning scenarios. And when our kids do this spear fishing dance, they learn how to stalk fish in the water and to not make a splash. And then they go for it spear to spear him. And what happens is we have a slow, fast, slow, fast. So he's going slow. He goes, tries to get him, but he misses him. And then he tries to go fast and get him again. All right? So in our language for this one, we say Jabak Birimi. Can everybody say Jabak Birimi? song and dance we're going to perform for you is called um, Juan Wagan and Juan Wagan speaks of the men and the boys going out hunting with their billa, their spears for the eel tail catfish. They'll cast stones in the water scaring the fish from their hiding spots. They'll swim around when the men see them um, fish darting off to the next location they get their billa, their spear and they start collecting those fish. This one here Juan Wagan. Hey, any of the young boys want to get up and try this dance? <laughs> So they stand next to a dancer and you're gonna follow along. Well, right? this one here is spearfishing dance. <laughs> two types of boomerang, we've got a few different types of boomerang, but in this instance, um, this song and dance is about the returning boomerang. Us men will go and cut down those branches already in the shape, we carve them out. We then, we test them for flight, and we celebrate. Bara. <laughs> Get it, 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 get it,
Thank <laughs> you. 